Hello everybody. Welcome to Cold Brew Hour. This is Natasha and thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today's video is going to be about Sleepy Owl Coffee. Now this video feels like it's been a long time coming because I first tried Sleepy Owl quite a few months ago with the intention of making a video but I honestly did not have anything good to say and so I decided you know what let's not bring an indie coffee company down and I decided to not make the video but as time has gone on they've launched quite a few more products and now I feel like I absolutely need to make a video because the criticisms I had in the last video that I was gonna film have now multiplied now I just want you guys to know that this video is not coming with any ill intentions because it indeed is an indie coffee brand and you know I would want nothing but the best for them but as somebody who loves coffee and consumes coffee on the daily it just feels like this is something that I really 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 just want to get off my chest so a little bit about Sleepy Owl. Sleepy Owl started in 2016 and as far as I could find their original products were cold brew bags their hot brew bags, the merchandise that they sold, and ready to drink coffee, brown coffee, as well as uh, packs like combos to make your coffee. And I initially tried out their hot brew bags and their cold brew bags. So let me begin by actually talking about the product that they advertised the most in the past, which is their hot brew bags. So their hot brew bags are kind of like a dip dip bag, a tea bag, but they have coffee in it and it's a very easy and convenient way to brew your coffee. Now when I heard about that, I was like this is so fucking cool because it's so easy to carry those everywhere. I think this was a little bit before all specialty coffee brands started coming out with the easy pours to make pullovers everywhere. This was before that time and so the concept of just being able to dip, you know, ground coffee anywhere and just make coffee in an instant was something that I was really fascinated by. And I was very interested by and I was very excited for. But when I tried the actual product, it was so extremely lackluster that I was absolutely blown away. Because this brand has done so well, so many people love it. And I did not even like it better than instant coffee. Now, Sleepy Owl has always had the slogan called Real Good Coffee. And that just felt like false advertisement because it in fact was not real good coffee. It was lukewarm at best. It was not very enjoyable. The extraction was not good. And the flavors that they used were so artificial. Now, I know they are artificial flavored, but the flavors were so fucking artificial. Like, you could taste them in the back of your throat, and that's not what a good flavored coffee should be like, right? I also remember at that point of time making my mother and sister who both enjoy drinking milk coffees try the sleepy owl variant as well as like an instant coffee with the syrup in it and both of them prefer the instant coffee with the, the syrup in it and that just so it's not more convenient and it did not even taste better than the instant coffee they also had ground coffee which i did not end up purchasing because i was not a big fan of their coffee in the first place and so it felt like a waste of money for me now i have to give credit where credit's due the cold brew bags were actually quite delicious they were really really easy to brew and i think the medium to medium dark roast that they had inside those cold brew bags really worked well it was silky it was like you know a good depth of flavor it was nutty and it was pretty good so if you want to go for the cold brew bags i would give you a thumbs up they're pretty good they're delicious they're standard cold brew and they're really easy to make at home so i put off making the video right i'm like you know what it's a, it's a growing brand it's a coffee brand and even if it's by me who has like less than 50 subscribers i would did not want to put that negative energy out but then they launched my arch nemesis instant coffee now i understand that there is a market for instant coffee there are a lot of people who drink instant coffee and there are a lot of people who enjoy instant coffee and i am not here to shame you or shame anybody who likes to drink instant coffee you do you you know even though i would much rather preferred you guys give brewed coffee a chance because it is so much better but yeah no shame in the instant coffee game mm. 
maybe a little bit but sleepy owl a brand who had consistently promoted themselves as somebody who wanted to make brewing good coffee a lot easier and actually you know put the emphasis on brewing coffee was launching instant coffee and i was just like what i regretted not making my video so much but then i was also glad because i'm like you know what if i ever end up making it i'm going to add this as well why did you launch instant coffee there's so many other ways to go about trying to give customers a good coffee experience which is not instant coffee if you'd ask me instant coffee is not a part of my good coffee experience but like why would you do that that's just upsetting that was it. like i don't know why i was so upset by sleepy owl launching instant coffee but it really really pained me and i still gave the instant coffee a shot and you know what buy nescafe buy brew like just just go for it don't don't spend the 4 500 rupees that they're asking for it get like a 10 rupee pack if you just want a cup of coffee i'm just being honest because it wasn't a difference that was considerable enough for me to be like you know what sleepy all has done it again they have made instant coffee good because they did not they in fact did not make instant coffee good so this has been a lot of world building for what actually made me want to make this video and that is the sleepy owl little coffee cans i was just finding my own business one day scrolling through instamart looking at what new stuff they had because why not and i got like a sleepy owl pop-up and i was informed that they had launched coffee in a can and i was like you know what i feel some i feel some way for this brand so every single thing they launch even though like i haven't been a fan of what they've made in the past every single thing they launch i feel the need to give it a try and i feel the need to be like you know what they've done it they have done it this is finally good spoiler alert this is that's not it it did not happen for me which is why i'm here right now but so I ordered their coffee in the three variants that were available, which is original, hazelnut, and salted caramel. And the first thing that disappointed me a lot was that it used instant coffee to make the coffee. So the ingredients were something like sugar, milk, and coffee powder, also known as instant coffee. And why would you just not use brewed coffee for this? Like you clearly have the facilities. You make those glass bottles that I am assuming have brewed coffee because it has a really less milk flavor. Like you already make those. Why would you not improve upon them and then actually just make something with instant coffee? Now I get it. They've launched instant coffee. They want to use their instant coffee. They want to show people that their instant coffee tastes good. But make it make sense for a brand that wanted to make real good coffee it just did not work out did it so i tried all of those and i have to say the salted caramel flavor is actually pretty good in the grand scheme of things like it has a nice caramelly taste it is you know it is a coffee flavored beverage i would not call it coffee anything that has instant coffee in it i don't call a coffee it's just a coffee flavored beverage but it was fairly good the coffee was a herby instant coffee taste that we're used to and the salted caramel flavor was pretty good it wasn't too sweet and so i was like you know what even if it's a good coffee i need to be honest with myself and tell you guys that i did enjoy it i did enjoy it but the remaining two flavors are a completely different story I don't know what Sleepy Owl puts in the hazelnut, like the hazelnut flavored drip bags, the hazelnut flavored cold brews, but it just is so weird. It does not taste like hazelnut. It also does not taste like artificial hazelnut. It tastes like really bad almond milk. Like this hazelnut coffee can smelled and tasted like a really poor quality almond milk. And I was like, that's not hazelnut. Like, you're not fooling me. That's not hazelnut. That's not hazelnut flavoring. Even artificial hazelnut flavoring, in my opinion, tastes better. So, like, I give the hazelnut coffee like a 2 out of 10 because not good, not fun, not an enjoyable experience. And when you talk about the original uh, Sleepy Owl can, why would you just not get the Nescafe can? Is my question. Like, sure. 
I gave all three of them a try to compare and contrast how the coffee was, how it tasted. And sure, the Sleepy Owl coffee was, I would say, 10% better than the Nescafe Intense tin of coffee. But it was also 125 rupees. I paid 125 rupees for one tin of Sleepy Owl and I think I got two tins of the intense coffee for I think 105 rupees. So why would I just not get those two tins? Because the experience is not better enough to justify the increase, the drastic increase in price. Just get the Nescafe tins. You're not missing out on much. Like sure, it's not bad, but you're not missing out on much. So yeah, <laughs> I, I just, I'm just a little bit sad because like I really, I feel like I'm really, really, really rooting for Sleepy Owl as a brand and I'm really rooting for them to do something that's really cool and like really innovative because I still feel like they've got it in them somewhere but like everything that they've put out so far except the cold brew bags has just not been it. Now I hope to however many people who watch this which I think is gonna be between the 20 and 30 range but um, however many people watch this I hope this comes off as constructive criticism and someone who is actually still to some degree rooting for the brand and hoping that they're able to do something that's actually fun, cool, innovative and also tastes good but yeah that's my rundown of Sleepy Owl Coffee and I'm gonna see you guys in my next video.